Hello, I'm Hannah. Hello, I'm Bob, and we are Kitchen Zoo. Today's story is The Jumblies. It is another nonsense poem by Edward Lear, and it goes like this. They went to sea in a sieve, they did. In a sieve they went to sea. In spite of all their friends could say, on a winter's morn, on a stormy day, in a sieve they went to sea. And when the sieve turned round and round, and everyone cried, you'll all be drowned, they called aloud. Our sieve ain't big, but we don't care a button, we don't care a fig. In a sieve, we'll go to sea. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed away in a sieve. They did. In a sieve, they sailed so fast. With only a beautiful pea-green veil tied with a ribbon by way of a sail to a small tobacco pipe mast. And everyone said, who saw them go, Or oh, won't they be soon upset, you know? For the sky is dark and the voyage is long, and happen what may, it's extremely wrong in a sieve to sail so fast. Far and few, far and few, are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. The water it soon came in, it did. The water it soon came in! So to keep them dry, they wrapped their feet in a pinky paper, all folded neat, and they fastened it down with a pin. And they passed the night in a crockery jar, and each of them said, How wise we are! Though the sky be dark and the voyage be long, yet we never can think we were rash or wrong, while well, round in our sieve we spin. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. And all night long they sailed away, and when the sun went down, they whistled and warbled a moony song to the echoing sound of a coppery gong in the shade of the mountains brown. Oh, Timberloo, how happy we are when we live in a sieve and a crockery jar and all night long in the moonlight pale we sail away with a pea-green sail in the shade of the mountains brown. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue when they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed to the western sea, they did to a land all covered with trees and they bought an owl and a useful cart and a pound of rice and a cranberry tart and a hive of silvery bees <coughs> and they bought a pig and some green jackdaws and a lovely monkey with lollipop paws and forty bottles of Ringbow Ree. And no end of Stilton cheese. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. And in twenty years they all came back. In twenty years or more. And everyone 
once said, How tall they've grown! For they've been to the lakes and the terrible zone and the hills of the Chankly Bore. And they drank their health and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast. And everyone said, If we only live, we too will go to sea in a sieve to the hills of the Chankly Bore. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue. And they went to sea in a sieve. That was The Jumblies by Edward Lear. What was your favourite bit? I like the monkey with the lollipop paws and the feast at the end. Mm. What was your favourite bit? Maybe you could draw a picture of your favourite bit and send it to us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram at Kitchen Zoo. See you next week. Bye. Goodbye.